The Interrogation of Hiram Tolliver Still unconscious, Mr. Tolliver slumped heavily in a shoddy old chair. His hands were bound with rope, his feet tied with some loose string. The kids huddled in a circle, discussing their plan. One thing was certain, they couldn't just let Mr. Tolliver go. They needed to know what he was doing in Lucas' house. After some deliberation, it was decided. They'd run the classic good cop, hard cop interrogation. Rollo brandished a steely gaze. I've got this. Read about it a hundred times. Rollo swaggered past the chair which propped up the slumping Hiram Tolliver. Without even looking at his captive, he began with a long, blustery drawl. <laughs> Mr. Tolliver remained motionless. Rollo spun around to face him. He'd clearly expected to rouse Mr. Tolliver with his booming voice. <laughs> Beck and Luca gave each other an unsure glance. Rollo slammed his fist on the table. He grabbed the table lamp and beamed it onto the unconscious face. Mr. Tolliver groaned and slowly lifted his head. He recoiled with a muddled, weary squint. The chair wobbled as he attempted to straighten up. Mr. Tolliver could only make out rough shapes through the glaring light. With a gruff tone, Rollo hoped to both conceal his voice and intimidate. The doubtful expression on Beck and Luca's faces transformed into awe. Rollo, hitting his stride, was now channeling every detective trope his memory could recall. He slammed the table again. Mr. Tolliver's voice became desperate. He was nearly in tears. Mr. Tolliver was in a daze, now more confused than ever. He shook his head, feeling more and more dizzy. His voice faded to a whisper. With that, Mr. Tolliver passed out cold. Rollo swung around with a repentant grimace.
Chapter 8